I'm going to throw to you a little character stat block like I did last time. Hell on. yeah. So I am Tefa True Son. He's a halfling. Just just assumed gender there. Sorry about it. Uh, small, chaotic, neutral. That's about you know. That's about all you need. That's about yeah. all I need to know. The rest you can see it all on the screen. It is a video yeah. podcast. Get on yeah. get on board, guys. Because of your strength and your decks there, I will say that you're a fighter. Oh now, mate, look at that strength sixteen. You're a strong halfling. Tefa Trusen is ready to go. <clears throat> Setting the scene. <clears throat> oh Jesus, had to let that out. Setting the scene. So you are sitting in the Elf Song Tavern. Oh, throwbacks. Oh, oh, back there. Let me just remember what that was. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, got it. <laughs> Sipping on a tall glass of roll rum, one of their specialties. Mm-hmm. Your companion, Tibbs, the gnome rogue, has uh, he's partaken of the drink a little bit hard before you've rocked up. And he has slumped over in his chair, over the table, and his long gnomish nose is actually deep within the liquid of his drink and every time he breathes in and out bubbles blow from the drink and appear on the surface of the liquid okay you are having you know probably your second or third drink um you're kind of taking in the atmosphere the elf song the maiden song has just finished so it, there was a lot of silence while the ghostly maiden tune drifted through the tavern but that that kind of finished a few moments ago and you know it's been a bit more raucous there's been a bit more laughing and carrying on as there is in the tavern but all of a sudden, you hear screams. Ah, oh, mate, I was just about to order another drink. Eh? Just before you can really react, bursting past you is a creature which, unlike anything you've ever seen, it seems to be made of metal, but it's got these feathery wings. It's got a large central eye and gangly arms and legs. And it seems to have burst past you in a straight line and is walking directly into the wall. Bloody. And keeps crashing into it over and over and over again. It doesn't appear to have any weapons on it, but you look around and the patrons in this establishment are freaked out. Even though our adventurer is here, they don't appear to have seen anything like it. I'll get you to make a perception check for me. A 17. Mate, bloody Mecha Mike Wazowski over here. What the fuck? Tefa the halfling with the fucking true sight. So you actually notice, looking over your shoulder, Teffer, that the this creature, or whatever it is, now it is just walking backwards and forwards into the wall, banging its face and its large eye into the wall. Has It is a completely direct path. Teffer's going to give uh, Tibbs a little nudge as he gets up from the table. Mate, wake mm-hmm. up! And then he's going to walk on over to Mike Wazowski and sort of... Yeah, I'm just gonna look. Sort of, I can I can work out that it's it's going line A to B. You know, the shortest distance between two points. That's kind of what he's doing. Correct. There. So I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna have a, a little squiz around for doors, windows, things in its way, just so I can sort of help it on its way. I think. Tibbs kind of becomes conscious for a second. He actually falls out of his chair and he starts coughing, and you can see some of the liquid that he's been snorting in every time he's breathed while he was passed out kind of drip out of his nose and his eyes and his mouth and he kind of oh oh uh oh mate the robot boy the robot bloke like look at him he's on his way he's on his path somewhere he's fucking he's destroying the place we need to give this boy a hand i'm going to try to like give him a little shunt uh, in a direction Mm. that might look like he might find a doorway and then re-correct his positioning Okay, so as you kind of stroll over to give him a push, his entire bottom torso rotates as in on an axis towards you and the large eye is kind of facing you. And his arms rotate around as well and he just pushes you back. Now, I'll get you to make a dexterity check for me. So just roll the d20. That's a six. And he pushes you over. Mate, bloody rude. You fall flat on your bum, and then he rotates back to the wall and continues to walk in it, into it. You hear Gatibs go, oh, what? You can't do that to my mate? And he takes two steps and falls over without being any help at all because he is munted out of the chops drunk. Good God. I'm on the floor. I'm just going to mm-hmm. eyeball. I'm just going to dart my eyes down to his little spindly fucking mech legs. Uh, mm-hmm. And maybe just uh, try to sweep him out from under his feet. Uh, usually you'd have to do some bullshit here, but I'll just get you to make a strength check for me. So just roll a d20 and then add three. Oh, 19. 
Now, that is more than enough. You knock these long, spindly legs out of the way, and this creature falls on, like, well, basically just trips and falls backwards. As you've done that, it looks like it's taken some damages to its legs, and it's fallen on one of its arms, and it's having problems getting up. It's kind of just on the floor, kind of shaking back and forth at the moment, trying to work out the best way to get back up and continue on its way. Great. Tibbs, get your ass up and help me with this fucking tin can piece of shit. I'm going to grab it by one of its uh, bro hobbly broken legs and then start, mm. hopefully, start uh, dragging it towards a doorway that might send it out into the courtyard to become someone else's yep. problem. Tibbs hauls his like, drunken gnom gnomish ass up and you actually do manage to kind of pick it up and between the two of you, move it over to like a rear door. Now, the rear door is actually locked but as you can see, one of the um, you know one of the staff members can see that you're trying to help. Mate, get over here and give us a hand with this bloody door. The half orc that you were waving at earlier goes, right, 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 and and goes over there and opens the door, and you manage to shunt this creature outside. Fucking sentient cough balls, bloody hell! He is outside. Eventually, this orby type mechanical kind of creature writes itself and actually walks away from the elf song tavern yes. but then walks in a straight line into another wall of another building and it appears to start banging into the wall there as well bloody hell maybe i'll, I'll just ask the orc and mate what's what's going on over there if i was to walk straight up through there what do i know about this place and can i intuit kind of the the general yeah. direction this prawn's going so this is just another establishment. There's nothing exciting about this place next to the Elf Song. It's just like a, a storehouse, perhaps for you know some of their ales and drinks and stuff that kind of overflow out of their cellar. There's literally nothing to it. It just appears to be walking with your perception check. It's got a set designation, which it is walking. Mm. And things are just getting in its way. Now, I'll get you at this point to make another perception check for me. Ooh, six. It is just going in a straight line, but you cannot work out for the life of you where you think it would be going. <sighs> I try to sit down for a minute and just sort of mm -hmm. like try, try to shake off the... Like, it's not my problem. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll say that to myself out loud. It's not my bloody problem. Yeah. Yeah. I just have a little glance over, see how Tibbs is doing. So Tibbs is like, oh, bruh. he starts vomiting um, outside the back door. Okay. This was the most rude awakening. Now, as you look at him and he's like throwing up this licorice colored vomit. <laughs> Sorry, viewers and listeners. Um, you, you look back over and the all of a sudden, the this thumping sound of it walking into this wall stops and running around the corner is another one of these creatures, but a slightly different shape. It appears to be a cube, but basically the same makeup. It has a central eye, it has legs and arms, and it fires an arrow out of this weird mechanical-looking bow and hits this creature in the side, and you just see it pierces the metal and you can hear the crack, but as it does so, you see it just kind of disintegrate and disappear. Oh, well, that sorted that out then. Maybe the rest of my afternoon will go swimmingly. Where's that drink? And after it does that, it appears to flap these wings, these wings that are attached to the top of it, and fly away. Now, you are just sitting there going, what the fuck? Just in time, the orc brings out the drink and goes, oh, there you go, there you go, drink that, put that in you. And the orc looks at you and goes, what's that down there? And points to the ground, and there appears to be a dagger. It looks like a knife, mate. You've not seen a knife before. Oh, uh, you just... It's come out of that fucking thing's body, hasn't it? I'm coming, you prick! And he walks back inside. I look, I look down at my drink that I've just been handed. I look over to Tibbs vomiting his insides out. Yeah, bloody hell. Could it get any more irritating <laughs> on a Sunday afternoon? Uh, I, I, I scooch up from my chair and head over to the knife. The dagger, sorry. So as you do that, Tibbs kind of like, you know, he, he finishes puking for long enough and he wipes his chin and he's like, oh, oh, look at that. That's pretty shiny. And he kind of stumbles over just before you get there. Mate. You see him pick up the, the this weird looking dagger. Um, it appears to kind of almost be like almost a dagger made out of mechanical parts, like one of these things. And as soon as Tibbs touches it, 
you notice that his head starts to expand and become larger and larger and larger. Oh, you're going to put that dagger down, mate. Your head far out. You were ugly before, but this is this is outrageous. Drop the dagger, Tibbs. Now, Tibbs kind of turns to you as his head is getting larger, and you can see, like, some light coming out of his hand where he's holding it. And he goes, oh, I can't! And he actually starts to lift off from the ground. <laughs> Fucking hell. You bloody balloon head. What are you doing, mate? Let go of the dagger. He, he starts shaking his hand towards you, and it just will not come out of his hand. Uh, I reluctantly grab the hand with the dagger in it and attempt to mm. shake it loose without touching the dagger myself initially. So you grab the arm, and you're unable to shake it loose. And actually, as you do, you start to lift off the ground as well. And... We will leave it there. Oh, oh, oh. That is your end scene. <laughs> <laughs>